you subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure that you register with Excel Academy. In this tutorial, I'm just going to explain my part 7 of system histology. So please make sure that you watch my part 1 to part 6. Let's quickly look at some few slides and let's try to identify some important parts. Name the slides. So if you look at this slide, this slide is just the penis. Label the part marked with letters. So if you look at A, A is just the urethra. B is just the corpus spongiosum. And then C is just the OS penis. Let's quickly move on and look at the next slide. Name the slide. So if you look at this slide, this slide is slightly having the thyroid gland and the parathyroid gland. But the part which we are most focused on, it is the thyroid gland. So this is just the thyroid gland. Label the part marked with letters. So if you look at A, that's the follicular epithelium. B is just the colloid. And then C is just the capsule. Let's quickly move on and look at this slide. Label the part A and B. So this slide is just the pituitary gland. So we need to understand that the pituitary gland has two parts. It has the anterior pituitary gland and the posterior pituitary gland. But there are also other content of the pituitary gland, such as the pus intermediate, such as the dura mater, such as the infundibulum. So all those, you need to make sure that you know them. So the part labeled A is just the dura, and then the part marked B is just the posterior pituitary gland. Then the part marked C is just the pus intermedia, and then D is just the anterior pituitary. So let's quickly look at this slide. Name the slide. So this slide is from the tongue, but we and focus on the test parts. So if you watch my part one of system histology, I explain some other features such as the gustatory receptor cells which are found in the which are found in the in the test part. But this time around, we are a little bit in detail and trying to see some other content that are found in the test part. So this slide is just the slide of the tongue and specifically we are looking at the test part. Label the part marked with letters. So if you look at A, A is just the supporting cells. B is the sensory cells. C are just the basal cells. And D is just the nerve. Label the part marked with numbers. So if you look at this slide, this slide is still the pituitary gland. As you can see, we have the anterior pituitary gland, the posterior pituitary gland. In this case, we have just shown the infutibula. So one is just the anterior pituitary gland, two is the posterior pituitary gland, and three is the infutibula. Okay, so in this case, we haven't labeled the pass intermedia, which I've already labeled in this same tutorial. So make sure that you watch this tutorial, you understand every point, and you will also go back and watch other parts. Name the slide. So if you look at this slide, this slide is that of the spleen is that of the spleen and specifically right now we are not looking at the white palm red palm no right now we are looking at the red palm and its content so we need to understand that the red palm has a content such as the splenic sinus which consists much of the blood vessels and also um some blood cells and then we have the splenic cord which has macrophage, sinusoid, and lymphocyte and many many other stuff. So this slide is just the spleen. Label the part marked with red arrows. Sorry, here I meant the marked with letters. So when you look at A, A is just the splenic sinus, B is just the splenic cord. Please take note of that. Here I meant the letters and not the red arrow. Okay. 
I just quickly move on name the slide so if you look at this slide carefully some of you may be confused but this is just the penis label the part marked with red arrow sorry once again it's supposed to be letters so a is just the copara cavenosa b is just the tunica albaginia okay let's move on and look at the next slide name the slide so if you look at this slide this slide is still the penis label the part a and b so a is just the copara cavenosa b is just the copas spongiosa label the part c and function so c is just the tunica of beginia and the function is to protect the erectile tissue and promote penial rigidity and length all right guys thank you very much for joining me this was dr possibility from excel academy please make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel and make sure that you click on the notification button so that you'll be able to get updated thank you very much for joining me have a blessed day